Welcome and hello. Today, I want to let you in on a little secret. Those cat posters, this cat shirt, they're no mistake. I'm a liberal. And as a liberal, I find that amongst all of the topics I talk about, the one that connects me the most with the most amount of people, both liberals and conservatives, is my value for free speech. Because free speech should be there to protect a space for open discourse, even when we don't like what is being discussed. It's important for a lot of reasons. It wasn't that long ago that anything from the LGBT community would have been considered part of obscenity laws, and you'd be thrown in jail over speaking openly about gayness or lesbians or anything like that. But free speech protects you. Free speech is the basis of Title VI, which helps to protect against things like workplaces uh, deciding to discriminate against you and not hire you because of your race, place of origin. Today, May 1st, 2024, the House of Representatives decided to expand on just a piece of that kind of discrimination, anti-Semitism. And I do think it's coming from a good place. They wanted to broaden this definition and in some ways include things that might be going against the state of Israel. Now, why is this potentially a problem? Well, as the ACLU pointed out, If a university or a college thinks that their federal funding might be taken away because now Title VI includes a broader definition, investigations will happen and it might be more easily discovered that, yes, indeed, these sorts of events were anti-Israel, that this would be in a situation where the school could lose funding over something protected as political speech. And the dangers are real. ACLU pointed out Cases where benign acts of pro-Palestinian or uh, wanting to watch movies to broaden and understand what was going on more, those were uh, being used as the basis of Title VI complaints that now might actually pass muster if the H.R. 6090 becomes law. Whereas currently in the Title VI law, it's protected because it's just against the state of Israel not against anything else, or might just be considered pro-Palestinian. As it were. This discussion, if it, need, if it needs to take place anywhere, if it's going to take place anywhere, should be taking place in that school, the university, the, the, the land of democratic ideas, where we create and generate a better tomorrow. We need to read the bill, read the intent, and I'm going to put in my links the ACLU call out for this, where they're actually asking people to just vote against it. And the bill itself. It'll be a pretty short list. Please be pro-free speech and anti-HR 6090.